Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you have been following me for quite some time you would know that I have been collaborating and partnering up with YesStyle. So again today this video is kindly sponsored by YesStyle. So I did receive all of these products before Christmas I think it was. So over the Christmas period and the new year I have been trying and testing out all these products. So in this video I'm just going to be taking these three in depth what I thought of the products and obviously like all of my previous other videos I'm going to include in like we try on clips as well so you can actually see the products like at work. <laughs> I don't know. The first product what I talk about and this is actually a bunch of sheet masks and this is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essential sheet mask and it is the rose edition so you get 10 packs in here and i don't even have that many left because i have been trying to use up quite a few of them so i only have five left i think i've mentioned it before i'm not necessarily the biggest fan of sheet masks i'll use them no problem they're handy they're less hassle but I just do not like the feeling of a sheet mask on my face. But I actually thought that this was a really, really nice sheet mask. I do notice that sometimes, depending on what sheet mask, obviously you are left with a wee bit of residue and a wee bit of essence. Sometimes you are left with like a wee bit of a sticky residue and a wee bit of tack to the skin. I actually noticed that this didn't do that. I find that as soon as I took this off that I nearly didn't even need to apply a moisturiser because my face and my skin just looked so plump, so fresh so hydrated and it just even seemed to look brighter there, there is two editions the one i'm using here is a rose edition but both are infused with pure boosting essence to make dull skin clearer and to smooth out rough skin texture so what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about these products and the steps that i would actually use them next up we have this toner i absolutely love this toner and do you know what i really loved about it is the packaging <laughs> It just looks like a milkshake. This is the Aromatica or a Aromaticia. Wow. And this is the Reviving Rose Infusion Treatment Toner. And again, it's rose scented. I absolutely love this. It was just really, really nice. But it's just a hypoallergenic toner. It moisturizes the skin with rose water and also rose essential oil, which helps to lock in moisture within the skin. And it's also ideal for mature, dry and sensitive skin. So all skin types, this can be used on. So with it being like a rose toner, it is quite heavily scented, but just the natural aroma of it just revives and restores bright and dewy skin. Yeah, I just find that it was just very nice and fresh. It didn't leave any sticky residue. It wasn't too heavy. It didn't do anything irritating to my skin, but I just all around just really enjoyed using this wee toner. Okay guys, so next up we have another toner and this is a hyaluronic acid toner. I got so excited when I seen this because I think like over the past year I've really been introduced to hyaluronic acid in skincare and like even in foundations and concealers. It's a quite a hard toner to actually describe. Like I'm not too sure if you can see or not. Obviously it is liquidy but it's not like really really watery to the point where it would be like any type of other toner or micellar water. The only way I can describe this is the fact that it's quite slimy. It's kind of like a serum, but this is just a highly concentrated toner. It does contain 50% of hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is just a solution that provides long lasting hydration to dry skin and it also prevents any loss of moisture within the skin as well. Because it has like a like a slimy-ish consistency, I will apply a few wee dabbles onto it. A cotton pad and I would just like disperse it like or evenly just like around my face and then when I will actually like just take my fingers <laughs> and I will just blend and massage the rest of it in and it just makes it just glides over your skin like silk I can't even explain it it is so nice but the way it feels on your skin whenever you're massaging it in and the way it leaves your skin looking after is just absolutely gorgeous as you will see like just the word plump and moisturized and hydrated is just <laughs> I absolutely loved applying this before I went on with any serum or moisturizer. Next up in our wee routine we have a face serum. So this is the CL4. So I'll give you a bit of a close-up of the packaging. I was actually pronouncing it 
sleeve. <laughs> It's actually CL4, so the 4 is in Roman numerals. But this is just a nourishing serum to fight any signs of aging, such as pigmentation, wrinkles. It helps improve appearance for more radiant and firm skin. I will admit I haven't actually used it that much. I would say I was maybe using it twice, maybe three times a week um, because I've been using more of the next product that we're going to talk about. It was a very nice serum to use like as you will see on the wee clip. It does make your skin very very glossy and shiny. I didn't notice this product doing anything for my skin. I just noticed that it was quite radiant on the skin. It just didn't change anything because of that I'm not going to sit here and ramble on and make up stuff but other than that you know like it was a really nice product I there was nothing about it I disliked but there was nothing about it I really really enjoyed although apart from the fact that it did make my skin look as I say just really really nice and healthy and glossy looking other than that I didn't really notice anything much about it <laughs> I have been loving this. This is just like a moisturising cream and this is by the brand Wish Trend and this is the Acid Duo Hibiscus 63 cream. There's so much more behind this than it just being a moisturiser but it's a moisturiser that is basically a remedy for blemished and troubled and oily skin. I don't necessarily have oily skin but whenever I had read that it was like a treatment moisturiser for blemished and troubled skin Ooh! <laughs> I was bathing in this. <laughs> but it does contain 63% hibiscus flower extract for skin hydration and acid duo. So that basically means that it is to gently care for dead skin cells, blackheads and to improve skin's texture. So technically I'll kind of simplify that a bit. So it's basically like a really, really gentle experience exfoliator as well as a moisturiser. I think, I think I've kind of done my research a wee bit right. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Sue me. <laughs> but yeah, it just made my skin just look lovely. Like again, with the serum I was talking about, it just made my skin just look really, really shiny, glossy, healthy, plump, moisturised, hydrated. I need to find some more words. <laughs> But it was just a lovely, lovely moisturiser. It wasn't too heavy. Like, I'm not a really big fan of, like, really, really heavy moisturisers. It was just really nice and light. And it was just such a nice wee moisturiser. So, that is everything. That is all the skincare I have to talk about. I've absolutely been loving these products. I've been loving doing this with YesStyle. One thing I really have loved about this is the fact that I have been really introduced to Korean skincare and the love that they put into their skincare. They're just really clean products, like that's the best way I can explain. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the description box where I will have all of the products linked and listed where it will take you directly to the products. Every product will have like their own wee reviews and their own wee product descriptions and stuff if you want to go and have a read for yourself. Also down below I have a discount code for you guys so don't forget you can use that as well. But other than that, thank you guys so so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to yes I for sponsoring this video as well don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter they'll all be linked listed down below in the description box and i hope to see you all in my next video